Hello, good evening. How are you? Thank you for coming to the class. Thank you for being on time. Hello, good evening, Rafael, Marvin, and Cesar. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening, you? teacher. How was your day? Not bad. Well, it, it was fine. It was fine. Okay, did you do something special, something different? Did you work? Did you study? No, nothing new. Nothing new. Like you take <laughs> care of your children, right? Yes. Yeah. How many children do you have? Three. Three children. And two what girls. are their two girls and one boy? Yeah. And what are their ages? Uh, the boys is uh, thirteen. Mm -hmm. And the girls is um, 10 and 2. 10 and 2, so different ages. It's kind of complicated, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Okay, very Terrible. good. Terrible. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you for being here, Eliu, Marvin, Cesar. Uh, before uh, beginning the class, we are going to check a little bit of, of uh, the platform. Because I noticed today that you were asking us about the exercises, right? Do you have any question, any doubt right now about the platform? <clears throat> Do you have any doubt, any question about any exercise from I, section one? I have a question, teacher. Yes. Uh, I, I got to speak in Spanish. Okay. Cuando se, se dice este llena el espacio, por ejemplo, eh, siempre hay que estar llenando las, uh, las discusiones, mm -hmm. en donde dejo un espacio ahí y sobre los temas que va hablando, porque en eso no enfatizó la profesora anterior de que esas partes se llenaran. Yo las llenaba, pero no sé si si las evaluaban, porque después venía el knowledge, el knowledge check. Uh -huh. Entonces, pero ella nunca nos, nos, nos dijo, y, yo, y, no, y nunca le preguntamos si las discusiones se, se tenían que estar llenando. And what discussions? ¿Cuáles discusiones? Which ones? Vaya, por ejemplo, cuando después de los de, de, la, de las exposiciones que hace la la grabación de la señora Ajá. después apare aparece dice este ahora uh, on your own eh, eh, que nosotros lo hagamos nosotros mismos y pongamos unos ejemplos entonces no sé si es mandatorio hacerlos o, o no hacerlos ah uh, well if, if the if the exercise is not there it is optional right it is optional it is uh, an option that you want to do if you want to do it you can do it but these exercises, for example, this knowledge check, this yes. is mandatory, okay? This is mandatory. You need to complete it. Uh, this one also, the exercise, this is mandatory. So these ones are the ones that you need to complete. The other ones in the video, it is optional, right? It is up to you. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Good question, okay? Very good. So if you don't have any question, I will ask again at the end of the class if you have any question about the listening exercise or if you have any problem with the knowledge check, the 1.8. Remember that this is uh, for you to work in your free time, right? You need to complete this, you, you check the videos, the listenings. And if you have any problem, any doubt, or you don't know what to do or how to do it, just let me know, right? And we will try to help you and also in class, we can do it all together. Now we are going to continue with the class. Let's see who else is here. Uh, thank you for coming, Soraya, Estela, Rodrigo, Elizabeth, Diego, Alejandra. Thank you for being here in the class. Okay, this is the second class. So we are going to have a little bit of a review that we did yesterday, okay? We were checking this information yesterday 
uh, section one, what's wrong with it? And we were talking about complaints, right? Complaints in the bank, complaints in the uh, restaurants, vehicles, online shopping, internet providers, different different problems that we may have, right? So uh, we are going to continue. Also, we are going to have a conversation. Probably we are going to practice it later. And also we have this section. This is a listening, right? So uh, we are going to read it first and then we are going to listen. And I want you to take notes. Yesterday, I mentioned that if it is possible for you to take a notebook or take notes in your computer or in your phone, um, so that will be useful every time that you listen to something. So it says, I listen to people describe complaints. Check what you think each person should do. So you just need to check according to what you listen. What do you think this person should do, right? For example, number one, it says, I got a new suitcase, but when I arrived home, I noticed the lining was torn, right? The surface of the suitcase. So uh, it says, take it back to the store or ask the store to send you a new one. What this person should do. Number two, my father sent me a coffee mug with my favorite team's logo, but when it arrived, it was chipped. Tell your father about it or contact the seller yourself. Number three, I lent my ski pants to a friend, but when he returned them, there was a big stain on them. What this person should do, clean them uh, yourself or ask him to have them cleaned. Number four, my boss borrowed my camera for a company event and now the lens is scratched. Talk to him or her about it or say nothing and repair it yourself. And the last one, I bought a new washing machine just a month ago and it's leaking already. So what uh, this person should do, ask for a refund or send it back and get a new one. So uh, do you have any question about uh, these sentences? Any new word? No new words? Okay, so we're, yes. We, we investigated a lot of the new words already. Oh, you're already investigated. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect, perfect, that's great. So we are going to begin right now. We are going to play the listening, the audio, and then you just let me know what this person should do, right? Let's see here. Yeah. I think I have it here. Unit six, that needs fixing. Page 36, exercise two, perspectives. That's not right. Part A. Listen to people describe complaints. Check what you think each person should do. One. I got a new suitcase, but when I arrived home, I noticed the lining was torn. Take it back to the store. Ask the store to send you a new one. Two. My father sent me a coffee mug with my favorite team's logo, but when it arrived, it was chipped. Tell your father about it. Contact the seller yourself. Three. I lent my ski pants to a friend, but when he returned them, there was a big stain on them. Clean them yourself. Ask him to have them cleaned. Four. My boss borrowed my camera for a company event, and now the lens is scratched. Talk to him or her about it. Say nothing and repair it yourself. Five. I bought a new washing machine just a month ago, and it's leaking already. Ask for a refund. Send it back and get a new one. Okay, perfect. So uh, actually it was the same. We just needed to listen to it. So number one, let's see, I got a new suitcase, but when I arrived home, I noticed the lining was turned. What uh, this person should do, take it back to the store or ask the store to send a new one. What is the best option in this case? Ask the store to send a new one. Ask the store to send a new one, why? 
don't know because the lightning is storm was storm was storm mm -hmm. okay but uh yes probably that can be um a possibility but what if the store said uh i don't know you already used it right uh, did you notice this or uh, were you traveling when this happened or when you just opened it probably was torn what, what was the oh. case right so it depends but it, that's a good that's a good um a good question a, a good possibility a good option because probably they will be able to provide you a new one right probably we don't know right so it's good to ask let's see Caesar choose one of your classmates please Okay. Uh, Zulma. Zulma, number two. My father sent me a coffee mug with my favorite team's logo, but when it arrived, it was chipped. What this person should do? Tell your father about it or contact the seller yourself? Apagalo. Apagalo. Zulma, are you there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> so, my father sent me a coffee mug with my favorite team's logo, but when it arrived, it was chipped. What should we do? Tell your father about it or contact the seller yourself? Mm. What would be the best option? Teacher, la palabra mug, ¿qué significa? Coffee mug, coffee mug is like a cup, but just it's a, a little ah, bit bigger. Yeah. Yes, it's just for coffee. That's a coffee mug. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, and it was chipped, and it was sent uh, to you by your father. So, it, it, what would you do? Would tell you your, tell father your father about it. Uh -huh. Okay, why? Why would be that uh, an option? What is the best option? Why? Yeah, you need you need to think, you need to think, you need to express with your own words English, right? So you need to think. Let's mm -hmm. say in Spanish, what would you say? Porque esa es la mejor opción. Why is that the best option? La pregunta es, eh, la, es eh, que uh -huh. eh, mi papá me envía uh -huh. eh, una tacita de café va con su eh, logo. Favorite digamos, Tim's así. logo. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh. with the logo, uh -huh. with your favorite Tim's logo, ajá. Uh -huh. But when eh, it arrived, no. it was chipped. Pero cuando le llegó, eh, uh -huh. estaba pequeñito, ¿ah? ¿eh? No. 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 <laughs> what is the meaning uh, of chipped? Who knows? Uh, what is the meaning of chipped? Uh, what is the meaning? Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry? Dañada. Dañada, uh, exactly. It was chipped. It was broken, kind of, right? So what, what is the best option? Tell your father about it, like, hey, dad, uh, thank you for my coffee mug. I love it, but it is chipped. Or would you contact well, the seller yourself? Will you contact, for example, I don't know, Walmart, I don't know. Hey, Walmart, I got a, a, a coffee mug and it's it was a gift from my father and it was chipped. What should we do? So what is the uh, best option? Pues yo se lo diría porque, por la confianza que le tengo. Ah, uh, you will tell your father. Aha, uh -huh. you okay. tell your father. Okay, so I will tell my father, right? I will tell my father. So tell your father. Very good. Very good option. Because you trust your father, right? You have this, this trust. You don't, you're, you're, not, you're not ashamed or anything. You don't think that something bad will happen if you tell your father. Very good. Perfect, Sulma. Now choose one of your classmates. Um, anyone Erasmo Perla Erasmo Perla are you there Erasmo 
Exactly, yes. Elizabeth yeah. Astillada. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, Erasmo, number three. I lent my ski pants to a friend, but when he returned them, there was a big stain on them. What this person should do? Clean them yourself or ask him to have them cleaned? Um, eh, aquí, eh, mm, presté, presté eh, pantalones de, de esquí a un amigo, ¿no? Ajá, ajá. Eh, way, pero cuando, cuando me lo retornó, me lo devolvió. Ajá. Um, this was a big, tiene una mancha uh, uh, grande. Yeah? Yes, on them. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So what what should what would you do? Would you yeah. clean them yourself, or would you tell your your friend? Clean them yourself. So you won't tell your friend, right? You you will clean them yourself, like. No problem. That would be your recommendation. Like clean them, like he, he needs to clean them by himself. Okay, perfect. Perfect, Erasmo Perla. Choose one of your classmates. Escoja uno de los compañeros, por favor. Okay, um, uh, Mr. Eliu. Eliu, are you there, Eliu? Yes, I am. Okay, number four, my boss, my boss borrowed my camera for a company event and now the lens is scratch. What this person should do, talk to him on her about it or say nothing and repair it yourself. I choose uh, talk to him or her about it. Why will that be the best option? Because it's your boss, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Yes. Do you? Yes, uh, because because, uh -huh. because uh, it is most. Uh, he is respons. He has the responsibility to fix it up, to fix, and with a polite yeah. way to mm -hmm. tell him. In a Very polite good. way, it, it depends the manner of, of I, if I express the mm -hmm. the the complaint. Very good, very good answer, Eli. Very good. It's the way you say the things, right? If you say, "Hey, sorry, uh, this is a scratch," right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that would be the best option, probably. Talk to him about it. Very good, Eliu. Choose one of your classmates. R Rafael. Rafael, are you there, Rafael? Yes. Okay. Now I bought a new washing machine just a month ago, and it's leaking already what this person should do ask for a refund or send it back to get a new one send it back and get a new one send it back and get a new one why what is not a good option the refund uh, because uh, uh uh presently i i bought i bought, I bought them and and the machine is, is almost new and I need a, a new a new one because okay. uh, because this machine I, it's it's out it's out it's out yeah okay so you will you will give another chance to the company to this to the store let's say right you will give another chance you will you wouldn't ask for a refund yeah Okay, perfect. Very good answers. Very good. Perfect. So this is the listening about complaints, right? Uh, pay attention because uh, we are going to use all of this vocabulary in an exercise later. So uh, let's see. Now, I asked you yesterday that you have to investigate about a noun in a past participle. Who investigated that? What is a noun and what is a past participle? What is that in English? Uh, I, I investigate about the past participle. Uh, what is a past participle, Eliud? Well, I am going to read. The past participle is used in the perfect tense as an objective describing an action that has already been completed. It is also a key component using the passive voice, which we explain further down. Say, for example, I have completed my paper already. 
another example. I I turn it in my complete. I turn it in my complete paper. And there are a lot of explanation for regular verb, for irregular verb, for verb ending in in different consonant and vowels. There are there are chains. That's exactly. what I Okay, very good, very good, good job, Elio. Uh, Cesar, what did you investigate? Yes. Ah, ah no, ya lo dijo el compañero quizá. Yo iba a investigar los now. Okay, we are going to check no. it. Uh, uh, no problem. We are going to see the definition of Cesar and then your definition. Okay, no problem. If okay. you have more information, that's better. Cesar, go ahead. What did you investigate? No, you know, you cannot get up. About the noun, uh, uh -huh. identify the person or the thing, or, or thing, anything, right? But uh, there are different, like common, proper, abstract, material, like that. So it is a, a like in Spanish, uh, we said substantivos, right? But exactly. in uh, about the past participle is uh, is used in the past perfect. Uh, using the, the auxiliary have right and is but in the section one i was watching the videos and use like uh adjective so for example i, I got bored or i'm bored or I, I was confused like that so the difference between like that that one is for identify person of scene and the another one the the past participle is for the, of the things okay very good perfect very good very interesting explanation with nouns yeah that's correct we can use it for adjectives uh, Zulma what do you have for nouns and past participles mm, uh, noun. uh, nouns what is a noun for mm -hmm. you in your opinion right what, what do you investigate are words that refer to people, place, animal, idea, things, event, substance, or quality. Okay, very good. And nouns can be only countable or can be uncountable, can be both. Yeah. yeah. See, for countable, yes, and, countable uh -huh. and uncountable, See, right? We have both, right? Uh -huh. like in Spanish, yeah. right? We have countable nouns and uncountable nouns because we have things that we cannot count. Very good, Sulma. Well, who else investigated about this, about nouns or, or past participles? Who else? Quien más? Alguien más? No more information? Okay, no problem. So we're going to check about the information that you investigated and also the things that we have here, right? Uh, describing problems. Uh, let's see here. Yes, in the videos that you checked in uh, the platform is this, right? This information, past participles as adjectives. So we can use past participles as adjectives. Turn is a past participle. Damaged, chipped, stain. Scratched, leaking. Leaking in this case, it says that it's an exception, right? Because it's a present continuous form. So this is an exception, but the rest of them are past participles. And noun, what is uh, the noun? Ter, right? Ter is the noun, but torn is the past participle. Uh, damage is a noun. Chip is a noun. Stain is a noun. Scratches, it's a noun. And leak. It's a noun. So we have both, we can say in, in a different way, right? We can use past participles if we want to, and we can use nouns, okay? To describe a problem. So let's see here. Let me check. So we already know what is a noun and a past participle, right? We don't need this, let's see. We're going to review just a little bit. What is a past participle? And it says, as you already investigated, is the form of a verb using forming perfect and passive tenses. 
and for showing past actions. It is also sometimes used as an adjective. This past participle usually ends in ed because it is formed from the past tense of a verb. As the past participle is a form of a verb and it cannot be used on its own. These are regular verbs and these are irregular verbs, right? And this is the past participle for regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? Like uh, Elio was saying, right? It changes, it depends, right? So regular verbs in the past participle, they don't change, it's the same. In irregular verbs, they do change. We have to be careful with the pronunciation with regular verbs. For example, what is the past of act? How do you pronounce this? Act? Acted. Acted, very good. Play? Played. Played, very good. Bake? Baked. 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 Dress? Dressed. Dressed, dressed or dressed? Dressed. Dressed, exactly. Turn. 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 Turn, exactly. Shop. Shop it. Shop it or shopped. 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 Want. Wanted. Wanted. Very good. Guess. Guest. 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 Very good. End. Ended. Ended. Very good. Past. Past. Passed or past? Past. Past. Very good. Love. How do you pronounce love in past? Love. Love, love it. L love it or loved? Loved. Loved. Love. Exactly. Die. Die. Died. Died. Hate. Hate. Hated. Hated, right? Or hated is okay. Hated. Invite. <clears throat> Invited. Invited. Very good. Invited. Invited. Follow. What is the past of follow? Followed. Followed. Exactly. Fixed. 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 Exactly. Order. Ordered. Ordered. Exactly. And join. Joined. Joined. Exactly. Very good. Perfect. ¿Cómo saber la pronunciación? Dice Rodrigo. Very good, Rodrigo. Very good question. Now, it's just a pronunciation, right? We have rules, yes, and I will bring them because I noticed that it's kind of difficult, right, to, mm -hmm. to the pronunciation, to know it, right? It's kind of difficult, but I will bring the pronunciation, the rules, because we have rules, but they are not rules like uh, like written like for, for example si termina con la y o si termina con la t no son reglas de pronunciación si termina con este sonido por ejemplo si vibra si no vibra so that's the way that we know how to pronounce these words when we write these words these regular verbs is good is good and it's easy to write them right but when we try to pronounce uh, these uh, regular verbs is kind of complicated right so very good we will, we will uh, check that later, the pronunciation and the rules. And these are irregular verbs. Irregular verbs, they change, right? For example, go. What is the past of go? The past, el pasado, no el pasado participio. What is the past of go? Went. 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 And the past participle? Gone. Gone, right? Exactly. So we have be, being, right? Come is the same. Come, past participles, pasados participios, right? See, seen, think, thought, take, taken, begin, begun, say, said, make, made, know, known, buy, bought, break, broken, build, built, drink, drunk, eat, eaten, feel, felt, give, given, and hide hidden. Okay, so that's some of them. We have a lot of past participles. So you need to study that. If you have difficulties with this, review, right? Review it. Traten de repasarlo si tienen problemas con los pasados participios y los pasados, okay? You are going to use this a lot. So 
uh, we are going to help you with the pronunciation and the meaning, okay? So basically that is a past participle and we can use it uh, as as you already mentioned, right? In, uh, in, in different tenses like uh, present perfect tenses and also we can use it as adjectives, right? So here we have below, we have three examples of how the past participle can be used as an adjective. He is a wanted criminal. This is uh, an adjective, but it's a past participle. So he is a wanted criminal. Él es un criminal buscado, ¿verdad? Wanted. She is truly loved. She is truly loved. And the hated family finally moved to a different neighborhood. So hated family is, is a past participle, but also is an adjective here. We are not using it as a verb or as a tense of the verb, right? And it says here the regular form of the past participle sense in ed, and the irregular form of the past participles include the word has. Well, actually, not it doesn't include the word has, but this says that this is just general information. But we already know that we, we that we use it with present perfect, so uh, we can use it as a past a participle in, in tenses and also as adjectives. So this is the information that you have in the in the video, right? Esto es lo que tienen en, en, en el video, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Something is torn. Torn is a past participle or is a noun? Torn. Is it a past participle or is it a noun? A past participle. It's a past participle. And it says, has a ter in it. Ter. Is a noun or a past participle? It's a noun. It's a noun. Yeah. Perfect. Remember, we don't have to confuse ter with tear. Tear is lágrima, right? Like when you cry, tear. It's the same writing, but ter is rasgadura, right? Ter. Pronunciation is different, right? It's different. So the meaning is different with the pronunciation. Very good. And this is the structure that we have here. Let's see what time it is. Yes. Subject plus B plus past participle plus adjective. So my dress is torn, right? Subject, my dress, the verb to be is in past participle, torn, right? This is the way that is explained in the, um, in the, in the platform. We already know what a noun is, right? As Azuma said, uh, it's a word that is used to identify or classify a person, place, object, animal, ideas, right? We have different uh, nouns. We have common nouns, proper nouns, singular nouns, plural nouns, concrete nouns, abstract nouns, uh, collective nouns, compound nouns, countable nouns, and uncountable nouns, right? We have a lot of nouns. These are some examples of nouns. But uh, these are nouns, right? We can use them. And the structure with nouns is subject plus have plus noun, or there is, there are plus noun. My dress has a stain on it. There is a stain on it. So it's the same, right? We can use the verb there is or has, right? What is the meaning of have or has? ¿Qué significa have or has? What is the meaning? Tener. Tener, very good. And there is? I. What is, I, right? I. I de haber, right? There is. There is for singular and there are for plural, right? Very good. Perfect. So let's see. Do we have any question right now? Preguntas? Questions? Questions about past participles or about nouns? Questions? The expression on it is, is like in eso or... or... Sobre, all right, on, on it. There is a stain on it, right? Prepositions. Very good. Another mm -hmm. question? Preguntas? No questions? Everything's clear. Okay, you understood everything. Okay, so what you have to do is just review right now some past participles. Everything's clear. Perfect. So I want you, this is kind of blurry, but I want you to help me to uh, do this, right? It says... Describe problems with each theme below. Use forms of the words in the box. 
they may use the same word more than once. We have break, we have crack, we have damage, we have leak, we have scratch, stain, and tear. And we have a car here, right? It's damaged, the car is damaged. We can say uh, the car is damaged, right? Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, we say a specific damage. For example, my car has a uh, dams. My car has a dams. What is the meaning of dams? It's a uh, una abolladura. Dents, okay. Yes, the, the damage is specific. My car has dents. Yes. Very good. Dents, abolladuras, right? Or my car is dented, right? My car is dented. Very good. Dented. Abollado, right? My car has dents or my car is dented. Number, because, okay. Uh, because because the damage is general, no specific the damage. Exactly, exactly. Very good, very good, very good observation. Let's see. Number two, there is a cu uh, a cup, right? A coffee mug. Let's see. Uh, who wants to help me with number two? Help me with number two. What is the problem with that cup or with that coffee mug? What is the problem? Uh, teacher, I I can see well. You can uh, see very well, right? It's kind of blurry, right? Yeah, I can, yes. I, I'm in the cell and in the cell phone, and, and and it's difficult for me to see the word. Ah, but, okay. Um, uh, I am make zoom in in the in the cell phone, but it's it's it's, it's very it's not yes. clear. It's not clear. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for the quality of the image. But let's say that is astillada. How do you say astillada in English? Chip, chip. Chip. So tell me one sentence saying that the coffee mug is astillada. One sentence, please. The, the coffee mug is chipped. Chipped or chipped? Chipped. Very good. The coffee mug is chipped. Very good. Chipped. Or, or there is a chip in my coffee mug. Oh, there is a chip in my coffee mug. Very good. There is a chip in my coffee mug. Perfect. Now the the pants, they have como están rasgados, like those pants, right? There, there are holes, hay hoyos. Now give me a sentence with one of the wor words that we have there. Or we have damage, we have uh, scratch, we have tear. Give me one sentence, please. Una oración. With the pants. pants. Uh -huh. The pants has a scratch. The pants are? Scratch. Scratch. Very good. Scratch. The pants are scratch. Perfect. So we are using the past possible. Very good. And the last ones, there are glasses, right? Glasses but uh, they are damaged, ellos están rotos, right? How do you say that in English? One sentence, please. Una oración con los lentes glasses rotos. Are cracked. The glasses? Are cracked or not? It's correct. Okay, yeah. very good, uh-huh. Are cracked, right? Cracked, yeah. no, cracked. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yes, we are going to we are going to study the pronunciation later. But yes, the glasses are yeah. cracked exactly. So we have the car is damaged. Let's see, what is the meaning of scratch? Very good question, Rafael. Uh, could you enlarge uh, the image? Um, yes, I will make it a little bit bigger now because now I'm able to read it. Now, uh, the coffee mug or the car is damaged. The car has dents or my car is dented, está bollado. The coffee mug is chipped. There is a chip in my coffee mug. There is another way to say it also. The pants are scratched. The glasses are cracked. Están rotos, están quebrados. Very good. 
Very good. Rasgado, scratch. Very good, scratch. Now we are going to talk about vocabulary, vocabulario, right? Because we need vocabulary to talk about these topics, right? So uh, this is what we are going to do right now. Break. What is the meaning of break? We can see here, right? Break. <clears throat> break. What is the meaning of break in Spanish? What do you think is the, it's the meaning? Roto. Roto, right? Break. Oh. And what is the what is the past participle of break? Bro break. Bro broken. 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 Perfect. Broken. So we have here the past participle broken as an adjective, right? This is a formula, right, that you can use to um, write sentences. Subject plus B plus past participle. The window is broken. broken. And as a noun, how can we use it? Like subject plus have or has plus noun, right? The window has a break or there is a break in the window. Very good, right? You see, noun and adjectives. Normally, we don't use nouns for this kind of descriptions. We use adjectives mostly, right? But you can say it in both ways if you want to. The window has a break, right? Has a break. Very good. Perfect. So try to follow this uh, formula if you want to um, create more sentences. Now, next one. Let's see. This one is damage. Damage, right? Damage is uncountable. El daño no se puede contar in Spanish, si se puede, but in English, no. Damage is uncountable. So uh, let's see here. As past participle, what is the past participle of damage? Damaged. Damage. Damage. Exactly. Damage. That is the past participle. And we can see here, right? The tabletop is damaged. Or the tabletop has some damage as a noun, right? Or there is some damage at, on the tabletop, right? Uh, let's see. Um, Marvin, are you there, Marvin? Marvin, Joseph, are you there? No? Okay, Alejandra, Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, teacher. Give me one sentence with damage and with the picture there with the car. Mm. The lights of the car are damaged. Very good. Yes. The lights of the cars are damaged and all of it, right? Because it's, it's destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Perfect. The lights of the car are damaged. Perfect. Now we have another word. Let's see here. Crack. What is the meaning of crack? What is the meaning of crack? Who knows that? Quebrado. 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 Quebrado is crack, right? As you can see, the phone is cracked. The glasses are cracked, right? So we have as a past participle. What is the past participle of crack? Past participle of crack? Crack. Crack. Cracked, exactly. Cracked, yeah. exactly. Okay. Está agrietado, right? The screen is cracked here, right? And as a noun, the screen has some cracks or there are some cracks in the screen. Let's see, Erasmo, are you there, Erasmo? Sure. Give me one sentence with crack and glasses. Um, uh, the the glass, um, the glass, uh, or um, crackers. The glasses are cracked. Very good, cracked, right? Cracked. You we can see there is an ed there, but it's cracked. Very good, perfect. Yeah. Let's see the next one. Scratch. What is a scratch? What is the meaning of scratch? Rayones. Rayado. Rayones. Okay, very good. Scratch rayado. is rayado. Exactly. You, we can see that is uh, on rayon, right? Look at the girl is scratching your car, right? So, and also the CD, right? So, what is the past participle of scratch? Scratched. Scratched. Exactly. Scratched. And we have here, right? The CD is scratched or the city has a lot of scratches as a noun right or 
there are a lot of scratches on the CD. Scratch is countable, right? We can count scratches. So we this is a countable noun, you see? And we have here the formula to use it as an adjective, as a noun, and also with the verb there is or there are, right? Elio, give me one sentence with scratch and the car. Okay, the uh, car is, is but the car the car is scratched. Very it's good. The car, the car is scratched. Very good. And how do I say it? Mi, mi carro tiene un rayón. How do I say that in English? My car has a scratch. Very good. My car has a scratch. My Perfect. Let's see the. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Elizabeth, go ahead. Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, but is um before what well, uh example uh, but with the other with crack yes okay uh -huh. uh, what is the difference between cheaper and crack crack you see the 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 glass the screen this is cracked uh -huh. mm -hmm. está como rajado right tiene grietas okay and uh -huh. and chipped this is uh -huh. chipped you see no grietas you see just a piece missing solo un pedacito le falta you see está astillado that is the meaning like the beauty it's business. more damage um it can be oh. yeah it depends okay. right it depends it depends <laughs> but it can be more crack or more chip right but but this is the the difference the, the difference is that there is a piece missing, right? Un pedacito le falta algo, like the your teeth, right? If it is okay. cracked, it's almost destroyed, right? Like a lot of grietas, a lot of like scratches, like crack, right? If it is cracked. But if it is cheap, le falta un pedazo. That is the difference. Okay, very good, thanks. very good question. Uh, let's see. So what is the past participle of cheap? Yes, Cesar. I have a question about the scratch because, uh -huh. uh, for example, in, in programming, it comes to say from scratch. So that that's different, right? Yes, from scratch, that is an expression. That is an idiom. And we're going to talk about idioms next week. Thank you for, for reminding me about that. Esos son expresiones. Oh, okay. Expresiones en inglés que se llaman idioms from scratch, right? From scratch is desde el principio, right? Como desde cero. So from scratch that, yes. But idioms will come next week, okay? Very good. But scratch like this is for damage. Esto es para daños. Yes, Jose Rivas. Teacher, I have a question. Um, in the word chip. Yes, uh, chip. Only use for drinks? or generally, generally works? Um, only used for, sorry, what is the question? Uh, okay, um, ¿Se puede utilizar solo con bebidas o, o recipientes que contengan bebidas en el caso de chip o, o también se puede utilizar en otra forma generalizada? Uh, it's in general, right? The, the damage is general, no solo en tazas, okay? That scratch, like it scratch or cracks, Astillar, un diente puede estar astillado, like this, right? A, a, a teeth or a tooth can be chipped, right? Se le astilló oh. un diente. You're, you have a, a tooth that is chipped, right? So it's not only for cups, right? Or drinks. It's in general. Anything oh, cool. that can be chipped can be chipped, right? And a very good, very good question, right? Because we are talking just for that reason, I give you different examples so you can use it in different ways. Uh, for example, in this case, this is a cup, right? The cup is chipped. And chipped is the uh, past participle. And the noun, uh, the cup has a chip or there is a chip in the cup. Chip is countable, okay, chip. Damage is uncountable. Chip is countable, very good. Next one, let's see, tear. What is the meaning of tear? ¿Qué significa tear? What is the meaning? 
Rasgado. Rasgado, rasgadura. Very good. And it's accountable now. Could so we can roto. have a lot of terse. Yes? Could be roto. Yeah, no. roto. Roto, pero de ropa, right? Roto. Like, not like broken. So, what is the past participle of ter? Past participle of ter? What is the past participle? Torn. 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 Exactly. So, like, we can translate roto, but in close, torn, right? Torn. That's the way that we can translate it. So, the jeans are torn. Los jeans están rotos o los jeans están rasgados, right? Both. The jeans are torn. Or uh, paper can be torn, right? Also, the sheet is torn. The jeans have some tears also. And there are some tears in the jeans, right? There is, there are also. There are for plural, right? So this is countable. Tears are countable. Very good. Perfect. Where? Uh, where? What is the meaning of where? Usar. Usar o usado. Uh, que está bien usado. How can I say that? Is worn out. Well, worn out. Like this example, right? The sneakers are worn out. Están bien usados. Worn out. So that will be worn is the past participle of where, right? It's very, uh, it's muy usado, right? So the sneaker have some wear. And there is some wear in the sneakers. Uncountable. Usado, que está usado, ¿verdad? No muchos usos, sino que usado. Wear, right? So also the jeans, the jeans uh, have some wear. Or they are really worn out. Very good. Perfect. Stain. What is stain? Mancha. Mancha. Very good. And uh, they were uh, talking uh, in, in the... In the in, not in the platform, but it was a group that somebody told me, right? Why is not spots, right? And stain, and I, I mentioned the difference, right? But you can say spots or you can say stain, but stain is more permanent, right? So what is the past participle of stain? Stain it. Stain it. Stain it or stained? Stained. Stained. stained, very good, stained, very good. So we have as a past participle stain. The shirt is stained. La camisa está manchada, right? So this is the past participle. Also as a noun, the shirt has a red stain or there is a red stain on the shirt or on the pants, right? We have uh, as a noun, this is a, a countable noun. Stain is countable as a noun. We have dent. What is the meaning of dent? What is the meaning? Dent. Abolladura. Abolladura. Very good. And what is the past participle? What is the past? Dented. Very good. Dented. The bumper is dented. The bumper, right? What is the meaning of bumper? The, the part of the car that is in the back. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> but it has, a, it has a name, right? That is the, the part that is on the car, but it has a name. What is the meaning of bumper in, in Spanish? ¿Qué significa bumper en español? Bumper. Bumper también. Bumper, right? Bumper, yeah. but defensa, right? Also defensa, right? La defensa yeah. trasera y la defensa delantera. The front bumper and the rear bumper, very good. So the bumper is dented, está abollado, or the bumper has a dent, if we use it as a noun, or there is a dent in the bumper. So we can say the same thing in three different ways. You choose which, which is the best option for you. We can say it in three different ways, it's the same, it's the same. Uh, the can also, a la lata, right? The can is dented, or the can, has a dent. Dent is countable, remember that. Born, what is the meaning of burn? Quemado. Quemado, huh? Quemado, quemadura, very good. What is the past participle of born? Born. Born, exactly. The documents are born. Los documentos están quemados, but the documents are born, or the documents have some burns, 
or there are some warrants in the documents. The same thing, right? It's countable, contable, quemaduras o quemados son contable, right? Also the car, right? The car is in flame, is born, right? The car is born. Leak, what is the meaning of leak? It's a fuga. Gotera. Gotera o una fuga, ¿ha? fuga de agua, right? It's a leak. What is, uh, well, in this case, is leaking, right? The ceiling is leaking. We are not going to say leaked. The ceiling is leaked. No, the ceiling is leaking because if it, if it is leaking, it's happening in the same time, at the same time that we are seeing, right? Está pasando en ese momento. Es por eso que es, es leaking, es en, en ING. Es por eso la excepción. Porque si ya no estuviera goteando, pues entonces it was leaking or it was, if there was a leak right there. So the ceiling is leaking. That's why it's ING. And it's accountable. Now we can say the ceiling has some leaks or there are some leaks in the ceiling or the pipe is leaking, right? The pipe, la tubería, the pipe is leaking. Peeling, what is the meaning of peeling? What is the meaning, peeling? Descascarándose. Descascarándose, very good, very good. The walls are peeling, right? The walls are peeling or the car is peeling the same, right? So this is just peeling, right? Uh, this is a present continuous form, very good. Do you have any question about uh, these uh, words, new vocabulary, preguntas del nuevo vocabulario? About peeling, leak, born, dent, stain, wear, tear. And, and leaking uh, are in our participle, but are present participles, right? Exactly, it's a present participle, it's a present continuous form, a present participle, an ing form, exactly. The peeling is the same word when the, the dermatology doctors talk about peeling. They 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 make peeling to the women to the women's yes. uh, when, when they they put something in, in, in their in their faces. Yes, there is a peeling. Yes, it's something similar. Yes, exactly. There is a peeling, right? Yes, exactly. Another question? I, I have a question, but it's, it's, it's with born. But I I, I listen to the, the term burnout. It is it's like when when the people can stand your, uh, the war their their works or, or anything, but uh, I don't know if it's, it's correct the, the como quemado. In, in that case, also is uh, like an expression too. It's burnout. like an expression. Yes, it's an idiom. Also, it's a burnout. When you burn out, you, you are really tired because you work a lot, right? So you have burnout out, or you are burned out. Very good. That is another expression. Exactly. Um, another question about these new words: stain, wear, tear, cheap, scratch, crack, damage, break. Everything's clear? No hay preguntas? Yes. Todo está claro? Okay. So we are going to see, right? We are going to see, not probably not tomorrow, but probably Friday, I guess that we are going to, to do something with these words. Todas esas palabras, váyanse las aprendiendo para que las pongan en práctica en los siguientes ejercicios que vamos a tener. Uh, and these are some materials, right? What can be cheap? Glass, ceramic, porcelain, china. And also wood, right? Wood. Eso se puede astillar yeah. también. Dent, metal, right? Metal. Yes. Crack, yes. paper, no, paper, no, plastic, metal, and yes. also these are glass, right? Ceramic. Yes. Scratch, all of these, right? Glass, plastic, wood, metal, all, all of these can be scratched. Also stain, paper, paper, cloth, and wood. And tear, only paper and cloth. Only that tear, right? So we are going to finish tomorrow. We are going to practice this conversation in pairs. Tomorrow you are going to speak, right? A lot. And as, um, let's see, I had an activity here for you. 
Uh, yes, just uh, investigate what is a gerund because we are going to talk about a gerund. And no, we are. Uh, I'm going to give you another another activity. I want you to investigate about parts of the car, partes de los autos. For example, bumper, front lights. Uh, what else? Trunk, lights. ¿Cómo se dice eh, retrovisor? ¿Cómo se dice retrovisor? Todo eso. Algunas palabras, no todas, ¿verdad? Todas, mm -hmm. solo las palabras que están por fuera, por fuera, lo que se puede ver. ¿Cómo se dice parabrisas? ¿Cómo se dice eh, puerta? Exacto. Todo, asiento de atrás, asiento de adelante. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Timón. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Uh, we are going to do an activity tomorrow with these words, the vocabulary that you are going to investigate, and also these words, right? Leak, born. You are going to speak a lot tomorrow, so uh, that will be your homework, okay? Now, just to finish the class, because it's already time to finish it, I need you to, to tell me if you have any question about the platform, about the exercises. If you don't have any question, uh, you can ask me during the day, right? Uh, in the WhatsApp group. Preguntas acerca de la plataforma. Si no tienen preguntas, pues me pueden hacer las preguntas en el, I have el grupo a de WhatsApp. Yes. I have a question. <clears throat> what is the level that we need to be uh, uh, we need to be uh, uh, getting every every day? For example, sometimes we don't have enough time to to practice advance. Mm -hmm. But we need to have a like a, a level, you know, because in in the last in the last uh, course, mm -hmm. I sometimes the the, the chat in, in the Insta for chat they told me that I need to advance, and and I I, I would like to know what, what is the measure that we, we must we must we must to have in a way that don't be so late or don't be so advanced. What is the level that you need to, what is the level that you need to have, but for what? Like to pass the, for, for, the level for, or? For to be starting the lessons. The lesson, for example, is you, for example, today is mm -hmm. 1.3. We need mm -hmm. to advance to 1.10 or, 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 or never. Oh. Oh, Understood. you need to like, yes, like the exercises, like how many exercises can you do, right? For example, if I want to do all of these just today yeah. or tomorrow or when right now, you can do it in, in your free time and you organize your time because that's the reason why I don't ask you to, to do it today or tomorrow to do everything. If you have time, do this today, right? Or you can do everything today and you can continue to section two if you finish, if you have time. So you organize it and you just need to complete. Uh, for example, but at least on um, Friday, you need to finish section one and section two. Al menos para el viernes, la sección uno y la sección dos. ¿Verdad? No, Pero, that was el, my question. Yes, exactly. Next week, section three and midterm exam, right? Next week, section four and the last week, section five and the final exam. And that's it. But if you have time, you can uh, continue and continue and continue, right? With finishing the, the other lessons, if you have time. Thanks a lot. Okay, perfect. Uh, no more questions about this or any other question? No questions? Okay, so I will see you tomorrow at eight and try to investigate some words from uh, cars or vehicles. And we will try to practice tomorrow, okay? Have a nice night and Thank you for being here and your commitment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher.